Christmassy. Many of you today may be preparing yourselves for your Halloween events. You may be preparing yourselves for a party to take your children trick or treating. And I want to let you know, standing here today, all of these trick or treating, these parties dressing up in uniforms and costumes is an agreement that you are coming into with darkness. See, we live in a world today that what is good, we call bad, and what is bad, we call good. And I'm here to let you know today, and I'm here to plead with you to walk away from darkness. See, you may think on one day a year that it is okay to dress up your children, go to parties dressed up as witches. I want to let you know that Anton LaVey, someone who is the founder of the Church of Satan, said himself that he is happy that one day a year you let your children worship the devil. And I mean to let you know that that is someone who is the founder of the church of Satan. I mean to let you know dressing up in evil things, taking your children trick or treating is a ritual that you are coming into agreement with, with the kingdom of darkness. I come here today to let you know your souls are at stake. Walk away from the foolishness. As a man that is stood out of here right now, if you was walk, if you saw someone walking off of a cliff, you would say, "Walk away from that cliff. Do not walk over the cliff." And see, I am standing here to let you know that you are standing on the edge of a cliff. And see, when you fall off that cliff. Falling off that cliff represents the day that you die. If you die without Jesus Christ, you will perish. I want to let you know you may see some of these difficulties that are happening in the world right now. All of the hatred, all of the violence, all of the difficulties with the young people stabbing people right now. All of the gang violence that is happening right now. You may think that this is evil, terrible stuff. But I want to let you know that it is a drop in the ocean comparing to what hell is like. And every single one of you, if you do not receive Jesus Christ, it is a one-way ticket into hell. And see, I want to let you know there is good news. See, there is good news about what I'm telling you about you, ladies and gentlemen. That 2,000 years ago, someone died to take your place from falling off of that cliff. Someone died on a cross a very painful way, an excruciating way that was beaten. He was whipped and he was scourged and he took a position that he did not deserve. And why he took that position was the absolute expression of the love that he had for you. See, Jesus Christ died on that cross. And see, that death that he experienced, ladies and gentlemen, was a death that you deserve, that I deserve, that we all deserve. See, there is a penalty for the life of sin. There is a penalty sleeping around. There is a penalty of homosexuality. There is a penalty of these things. There is a penalty of disobeying God. And see, that penalty of sin is death. And see, ladies and gentlemen, I am not talking about a death of natural means. I'm talking about a death that when you die, you will die a death that is for eternity. See, ladies and gentlemen, when you go to hell, there is no way out. You cannot make a decision to follow Jesus then. Right now is your opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to let you know that he took the place that you deserve. But see, you don't have to take the road of death. You can come to Jesus Christ to receive everlasting life. See, many of you think, why does God send people to hell? And see, God doesn't send people to hell based on what he wants. He sends people to hell based on the life that we choose to live. We make our decision to go to hell when we live away that is contrary to God. But see, ladies and gentlemen, God has given a way to man that he may have eternal life. 
And that way is through what Jesus Christ done on the cross. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that anyone who believes in him shall have our everlasting life. And I want to let you know, turn to Jesus today. Listen, you all want to just say, why do you believe? Why is it that you believe on the day of Halloween? There is much more of a police presence. There is much more of sirens that are ringing. There is much more of criminal activity that increases. There is much more gangs riding out and going to attack other gangs. Why is it that you think there is an increase of violence on this day? Why is it that you think that police need to be called out more on this day? Because I'm telling you that this is a day of darkness. It is a day that the kingdom of darkness, the devil, does his plans and attempts to attack and brings darkness on this world. It is a day that your children partake 